The commander says that he was a scientist and was previously involved in something similar to market research before Gilead's inception. Later, it is hypothesized, but not confirmed, that he might have been one of the architects of the Republic and its laws. Presumably, his first name is Fred. Though that, too, may be a pseudonym. He engages in forbidden intellectual pursuits with Offred, such as playing Scrabble, and introduces her to a secret club that serves as a brothel for high-ranking officers. He shows his softer side to Offred during their covert meetings and confesses of being misunderstood by his wife. Offred learns that the commander carried on a similar relationship with his previous handmaid, who later killed herself when his wife found out. In the epilogue, Professor Piesciotto speculates that one of two figures, both instrumental in the establishment of Gilead, may have been the commander. Based on the name, Fred. It is his belief that the commander was a man named Frederick R. Waterford who was killed in a purge shortly after Offred was taken away, charged with harboring an enemy agent.